Snooky's brother. <laughs> In the last video on the audio system, we upgraded the front speaker set by replacing the old setup with new front speakers and tweeters. Almost no speakers were harmed in the process. We also added insulation to the doors in order to get the most out of the new setup. This led to great overall results and a significant increase in sound fidelity. But after listening for a while, I wanted more. Which is why today we are upgrading the second half of the setup, starting with the rear speakers. These are hiding below the rear window shelf. Simply remove a few plastic clips and it can be moved out of the way. With free access to the speakers from above and below, these tired old songbirds can be sent to speaker heaven. As you can see, the damage on the outer membrane is not insignificant on these original Clarion speakers. We are replacing these with a set of 165mm option coaxial speakers with integrated tweeters. These should provide a good mix of clarity and bass. Installing them is the same as removing the old ones, just backwards. Only a few minor changes on the cables are required. With that done, it is time to move on to the next item, which is this Crunch GP690 subwoofer with an RMS rating of 150 watts, which is going to be installed in the trunk. In order to install it, we need to run a power wire from the battery to the sub, ideally with a fuse, and a ground wire to attach to the nearest mass point, which in our case will be this tire mounting point in the trunk. With that sorted, it's time to start running the power wire from the battery. For this, we start at the battery and work our way all the way to the back of the car. In order to get through the firewall, I thought of running the cable next to the light wiring room into the driver's footwell. In order to facilitate pushing the cable through the tight gap, I taped a thin cable tie end to the cable. I found this trick on the internet, but honestly, it was mildly helpful at best. You gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan. Your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the After trying around next to the wiring loom for a while without success, I decided to instead go for this hole in the firewall towards the middle of the car. This gave me much better access and provided a good path into the driver's footwell. After that, I ran the cable all the way through the car, tucking it in under the center console, the rear seat and the carpet towards the trunk. Next, it was time to tidy up the wiring with a few cable ties and then move on to removing the radio from the center console in order to plug in the subwoofer audio. You got heart, are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs. Are you willing to go leave? I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns. Who were all taught they deserve an ounce. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown. I swear to God. Let me 
After putting everything back together, the install of the new components was done. Taking a look into the boot, however, reveals that my new subwoofer has to live below this old cardboard type thing. I didn't like the sloppiness of that, so I decided to upgrade. For this, I sourced this waterproof plywood. I cut that to size using the trunk carpet as a stencil. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, jump legend bound, can't stop me now. After cutting the wood into shape, I did a test fit. It is a little short on the sides, but at least it can be lowered into the trunk easily and fits the overall shape much more neatly than the old cardboard. To allow for more breathing space for the subwoofer, I decided to drill a few holes into the wood just above the driver of the subwoofer. With that done, all I was left to do was to sand down all sharp edges and finish this new part of the trunk floor. And there you go. The new plate is much more rigid than the old one and the trunk carpet fits into its space much more neatly than before. The last thing to do is to tighten down the subwoofer. And with that, part 2 of the audio upgrade has been completed. The sound definitely improved once again, this time both in loudness as well as bass. Maybe it's time for you to upgrade as well? Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day! Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter.